In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool paper rip collage transition in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you're wondering, do these paper overlays cost anything? Well, yes, these paper overlays are gonna cost something. However, that little rip transition actually is completely free. So these paper overlay transitions, so this one and this one over here, and then this paper overlay transition, this is actually gonna cost money, and I have an affiliate link down in the description below, so you can go ahead and purchase this. This pack is a Paper Rips and Fold V2, but by using that link, you are helping to support the channel because it is an affiliate link. However, these paper rips, so this paper rip and this paper rip, this little paper rip transition as you can see kind of like splits into three pieces those paper effects so these paper effects are completely free and all the links will be down in the description below so if you you, 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 you don't want to spend money on creating a really cool paper transition I will show you how to create this paper transition for completely free cost nothing however again if you want these paper overlays it's going to cost you around $50 so as you can see here are the clips so here are the two clips that I'm gonna be using and then here are the photos just as still images in this case I'll be using six still images now again Again, you could just you know create like a freeze frame uh you know kind of like a still image however i would suggest using actual photos so if you're on the shoot you know shooting a music video i'd always 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 encourage you to take some photos so you can create these really cool photo collage effects in final cut so what you want to do is you want to head over to your two clips so you can see i just have two clips i want to transition in between these two clips with a really cool kind of like paper collage transition so what you want to do is you want to head over to your first clip so you can see this is the first clip what you want to do is you want to go back one frame place a marker and all you're going to do is you're going to create a freeze frame so you're freezing the last frame of the first clip so make sure you're on the last frame of the first clip and then just click on option f and you will have created a freeze frame so if i play the video all that's going to do is as you can see it's just going to freeze the last frame of the first clip so as you can see the last frame of the first clip is just frozen Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to import your paper overlays. Now, don't install these paper overlays in like your motions template folder or your effects preset folder. They're just overlays. So click on Command I to import your paper overlays, and then just find where you um, downloaded or saved your paper presets. So you see Rips and Folds V2. This is just on my Lacy hard drive. So let's select and we have a cool one, something like this that looks pretty cool. And then just click on Import Selected. So again, don't put it in a folder or your motions template folder. Just import it like you would like a normal overlay. So as you see here's a paper um, overlay place it on top of your clip head over to blend mode change the blend mode to screen and then we're just going to increase the scale and there we go as you can see you have a really cool paper overlay so I'll let final cut render and if I play the video all it's gonna do is the last frame is gonna be frozen so you can see the last frame is gonna be frozen and then there's just a paper overlay so that's how you that, that's you know one of the first steps you're gonna have to do in order to create this transition okay the next thing you want to do to make this transition even more seamless is to add a really cool flash transition so what you want to do is you want to head over the title section and then head over to an adjustment layer I will put the link to this adjustment layer it's a free plugin so I'll, don't worry it doesn't cost any money I'm gonna set the adjustment layer to control D six frames I'm just going to set it to six frames now we're gonna use the adjustment layer to create a really cool flash transition select on the adjustment layer make sure at the beginning of the adjustment layer go to this color section add a color board again make sure you're at the beginning of the adjustment layer go to exposure place a key frame and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go forward three frames so one two three place a marker you're gonna take the global and you're gonna take the global and you're gonna turn the global to 90 you're gonna take the highlights turn the highlights to 100 now you're gonna go forward one two three frames you're gonna take the global change the global to zero change the highlights to zero and then as you can see it'll just create a really cool flash transition so if I play the clip as you can see it just kind of flashes on and there you go you have a really cool flash transition now what you want to do is you want to take the adjustment layer, find where the middle of the adjustment layer is, and then just place it in between the two clips. So that way you have a really cool flash transition. So it kind of looks like it like simulates a photo. So as you can see, plays it, play the video. As you can see, it just looks like you simulated a photo. Now another really cool thing you might want to do too is add kind of like a camera shutter um, sound effect. So if I scroll down, as you can see, I downloaded this from Epidemic Sound. You can kind of just place the camera shutter sound effect right where the flash transition happens. So it looks like it's kind of simulating an actual like you know you took a photo with a camera and then you have a really cool camera shutter sound effect to just kind of sell the effect and make it look even nicer so if i play the video as you can see there we go that's how you create that really cool transition again make sure where they it's the kind of the all white that's in the middle so you can create this really cool camera flash transition again it just looks like you took an image and there we go that's the next step 
So what you want to do next is you want to find a couple of photos. So here are the two photos that I'm going to be using, Lil Dirk and then Lil Baby. So here are the two photos that I'll be using. So what you want to do is you want to take your paper rip overlay, you want to place it on top of the photo. So you're just going to place the paper rip overlay on top of the photo. What you're going to do is you're going to head over to blend mode. You're going to change the blend mode to stencil alpha. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the one that changed to stencil alpha, create a copy and the top paper overlay, you're going to change that one to screen. And now what you're going to do is now you can just create a compound clip. So I'll wait for Final Cut to render. So this top one is stencil alpha and then this one is screen. The most important thing is that the scale and position of these two images are exactly the same or else this is not going to work. So you can see if I take the scale and move it over, see it, it doesn't line up. You want to make sure the scale and position are the same. Select it, select both those, click option G. And we'll just call this paper overlay, call it one. You want to create a compound clip or else this is not going to work. Okay, so let's take the second paper overlay, place it on top of the second photo. We're just going to trim it. And again, what you're going to do is take the paper overlay, go to blend mode, change it to stencil alpha. Then you're going to create a copy. So make sure you create a copy and then change this one, the very top one to screen. So the top one is screen and this, this middle one right here is stencil alpha. Now, if you want to move the photo, don't move the paper overlay, select on the photo, then go over to position or scale. And as you can see, now you can move the image inside of the paper overlay you see it's cut off and there we go so if you want to move the image select on the image and then adjust the scale and position to actually move the image don't select anything else just select on the image itself so what you do next is select on all three of these layers option G to create a, a compound clip and we'll just call this paper overlay two so just call this paper paper overlay two and there we go now you have created the two paper overlays now what you want to do is you want to offset them by seven frames. So I'm going to go to the beginning of the paper overlay, the first paper overlay, go forward seven frames. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, place a marker and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just going to offset them by seven frames, take paper overlay one, place it on the first marker, take paper overlay two, and then place it on the second marker. So we're just offsetting these by seven frames. Now what you want to do is you want to select on the paper overlay and then you can just drag the whole thing over. So we're just going to take the X axis and we're just going to drag the paper overlay and then we're going to take the, the first paper overlay and just kind of move into position again. This is just what I'm doing, but it's going to be different for you. So as you can see, now they just come on different times and they stack on top of each other. So as you can see, if I play the video, this is what it looks like. It just comes on at different times and there we go. The paper just stacks on top of each other. And again, these are offset. They come on at seven frames. So they just, they're just offset by seven frames frames and there you go that's the first or the second part of the transition you just have these paper overlays stacking on top now another really cool thing you can do is you can take a paper overlay place it on top of a photo and then just do the exact same thing so you're just going to trim it you're going to take the image the paper overlay duplicate it you're going to take the middle paper overlay change that to stencil alpha you're going to take the top paper overlay, the very top one and change that one to screen and there we go you're just going to create a compound clip and we're just going to call this paper overlay three so we're just going to call this paper overlay three and there we go you have created the third paper overlay now another thing you can do is actually cut along these different you know paper edges right here so what we're going to do is we're going to create a copy so you're just going to create a copy so what you're going to do next is head over to the effects panel take a draw mask and you're just going to apply it onto the copied layer now obviously you're going to, have to copy this as many times as you want to cut it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut it on this white line so basically just cut it in half so i'm going to have the paper overlay coming on at different halves and of course you can do this for as many white lines as you want so it's really cool you can kind of like cut across the white outline or the white lines and there we go I've just cut off or just cut off the first half and now I'm gonna do is I'm going to offset this by seven frames now it, it'll, it's kind of confusing right now but I'm just going to offset it by seven frames and you'll see what I'm trying to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over here I'm gonna go forward seven frames so I'm gonna go one two three four five six seven and I'm just going to trim the first layer or, or the second layer because you can see see it's split into halves so I'll go one two three four five six seven and now the second half comes on so it's really cool you got this paper kind of like rip on I think that's a really cool effect 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom out, and then what I'm gonna do is head over here. I'm gonna go forward again, I'm just offsetting these by seven frames. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place a marker, and now I'm gonna place this paper overlay and place it right where I want that marker is. So instead of just having the paper overlay come on, now you're having it come on on different pieces, which I think is just a really cool different version. And again, you can do it for as many white out lines. I would encourage you to cut uh, on the white outlines, and then of course cut it up into as many pieces as you want. So as you can see, if I play the clip, you can see the last frame freezes. Now you just have the paper overlay stacking on top, and now you have another paper overlay on, but instead of just coming on as one paper overlay, you can see it's coming on in different pieces. So I just think this is a couple different, you know, different ways of doing it. As you can see, it comes on different pieces. And again, all we're just doing is you're just creating copies, and then you're just masking out individual parts of the paper. So there we go. That's, you know, the second, the se like, I guess like second or third step, however you're looking at it. So there you go. Those are just a couple different ideas. And now I'm going to Show you how to create that last one that little cool like you know, split screen paper effect now this next paper effect is completely free but all these ones that i showed you right now are actually are going to cost money but i will show you how to create that really cool kind of like three like that split screen paper effect complete with completely free assets now I'm going to show you how to create that really cool paper split screen transition. Now this paper effect is completely free, so I'm just going to place it onto the first photo. Now again, this paper effect is completely free. I'm going to take this scale, I'm going to increase the scale to 250%. I'm going to move it across the screen, make sure you know none of the other photo is showing. So you can see, now I'm going to create a duplicate. I'm just going to create a duplicate. I'm going to enable the show horizon. I'm just going to move it to wherever I think looks good. So something like that should look pretty good now I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rename the paper assets so I'm going to right click and I'm just gonna type on this and type right now I'm gonna click on this one rename and I'm just going to call this one left so we have right and left now we're gonna take this photo we're gonna drag the photo into the paper overlay and there we go that's kind of like the first step now what you want to do is you want to copy these paper assets and basically you want to kind of alternate them. So I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, you want this right one to be the same. We're going to take the left one and we're going to move the left one over. So just moving the left one. Now the next one, we want this one to be the same, but we're going to move this paper asset. So if I create a copy, so I'm just going to create some copies. You want to make sure you're creating a copy. Now I'm going to take the right one and I'm going to move the right one over. And basically all I'm just doing is alternating them because you want, I'll show you what, if you don't do it this way, it's going to look a little bit weird so you can see this is in the same position in both photos and this one and this one are both in the same position now what you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel take the draw mask and you just want to apply it onto your photo now what you want to do is you want to cut on the paper rip so as you can see I am just cutting on the paper rips but again you want to make sure the draw mask is onto the actual photo now I'm gonna do a pretty quick job just for the sake of the tutorial and then as you can see I'm just going to mask out but you want to make sure you're cutting on the paper rips and make sure the mask is applied to the actual photo now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to the second photo I'm going to add a draw mask and all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on these paper rip overlays make sure you're cutting on the paper rip overlays now just for the sake of the tutorial I'm gonna do a pretty quick job so you can see I'm just uh, clicking and making sure I'm cutting on the actual paper overlays now what you want to do is you want to select on the third photo take the draw mask apply the draw mask onto the third photo and now again you're just going to make sure that the mask is on the, the photo but you're cutting on the actual paper overlays so as you can see I'm just cutting on the paper overlays and there you go now that looks really good if I enable disable the show horizon as you can see there we go now you've individually cut out the different paper effects now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create some compound clips so I'm gonna select on this one option G I'm just gonna type in one you know I'm just doing it a little fast for the tutorial sake option G type in two and then just select on this I want to call this option G for a compound clip and we're just gonna call this three obviously you know rename it again this is just for a tutorial so I'm just going pretty quick now what you want to do is you want to select all these compound clips control D and all I'm doing is I'm setting these to uh, 15 frames now what you want to do is you want to go forward one two three four five place a marker and then take the second photo and place it on top now what you want to do next is go forward one two three four five frames and then place the third image just place it and then there we go so all I'm just doing is I'm just offsetting it by five frames so if I play it this is what it should look like as you can see it comes on individual times and there we go now you have a really cool kind of like paper transition now what you want to do is you want to find the middle where it completely covers the screen and then just option G and we'll just call this paper 
um, transition. You want to make sure you're right in the middle where they all cover the screen. So you can see if I go back one, see it doesn't cover the screen. So you want to find where they completely cover the screen and place a marker. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the paper overlay. I'm going to go forward seven frames. So I'm going to go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to place a marker and then I'm going to place the paper transition and place it right on there. So again, I'm just offsetting it by seven frames. So I'm going to head over to this icon. I'm just going to decrease the timeline just so it's a lot smaller and a lot easier to see. Now, right where this marker is, I'm going to go ahead and just trim all of these clips. So I'm just going to trim all these clips because basically the marker is right where it completely covers the screen. So I'm just going to trim it option G and there we go. Now it's completely trimmed and I'll wait for final cut to render. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. If I kind of go frame by frame, you can see it's coming on at different times. These different paper overlays are coming on at different times. Time. So you have paper overlay and then you have this kind of like come in different pieces and if I play as you can see now it comes on at different times, comes on at different times, completely covers the screen and then the next frame as you can see now it's completely revealing the second video and there you go. That's how you create this really cool paper rip transition. So if I play the video again frame by frame, you can see there's this really cool flash transition. The last frame of the first clip freezes and you can see these different paper overlays come on and usually I have them offset by five, seven frames. So you can see and then this one comes on in different pieces. So it comes on offsets by seven frames and then as you can see you have this really cool paper rip kind of collage transition and then right when it covers the screen, that's where the marker is and then it just comes off and then there you go, it reveals the second video. And there you go. That's how you create this really cool paper rip collage transition. The links are going to be down in the description below. Now, the link is an affiliate link. So by using that link, you will be supporting the channel and you'll be able to create. And once you download them, you'll be able to create this really cool paper rip collage transition. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.